call the place beautiful, no one would quibble, though hard on the feet, they'd explain. But high in those hills, past the rocks and the rubble, so high that the clouds were below, sat two tiny towns that were nothing but trouble. As you listen, you'll see that it's so. Now the town to the west that thought it was best bore the name Flipperoloo, where the women and men since 1710 have worn on their heads one large shoe. Now in town number two, one big shoe wouldn't do. So the people of Tiberty Lodge would look down and bellow at shoe-headed fellows and place on their own heads a pot. Mine's really more of a kettle. Uh. For days without end, these two neighbors would bicker as to whose headgear was best, and the shoes and the pots would fly ever thicker from morning to night without rest. Oof. But not all uh. What are they doing? Oh. And sing happy ditties and greet all their friends with a smile. One flitty and fellow who hated the That looks like a tiny town, but they can themselves and they talk and they talk. Until one day he said, Hey, let's go for a walk. I'm tired of lying around like a squid. I want to go out there. So that's what he did. The shoe-headed boy and his blue plastic friend walked out of their town and began to descend to the dark rocky mm. valley between the two cities, away from his friends and their light-hearted ditties. Ba -la -la. Ba -la -la. Hey, this is swell. Gosh, this is fun. It's great that my lobster can get out and run. But neither mm. the boy nor the boy with the shoe could see mm. a disaster about to ensue. For up in the rocks, it's uh, just uh. out of sight were six beady eyes filled with anger and spite. Six beady eyes watched our hero meander. Two shifty crooks and their ruthless commander. Oh, look what good fortune, the nasty one said. Here comes a poor fool with a shoe on his head. I bet he's got money. I bet he's got gold or maybe some jewelry he'd like us to hold. Whatever the booty, I think I could stand it. Why, that's what I live for. That's why I'm a bandit. And then they attacked him. Oh, what the <laughs> um, and he said with a moan, he's a cucumber well, man. I guess I'm alone. But this oh, God. Is he'd never know. His friends were far off and his lobster was missing. The sound he could hear was just the wind hissing. Hello? Hello? Things looked pretty grim for our Flibian buddy. His head in a hole, his shoe bent <clears> and muddy. But then, were those footsteps? Oh, could it be true? Along came the mayor of Flibber Olu. Oh, a dear. Better one, surely he'd help the poor soul. Hello, said the boy with his head in a hole. I seem to have fallen. I seem to be stuck. But now that you're here, well, I guess I'm in luck. Oh, dear, said the mayor, observing the shoe. A fellow in need. And he's Flibbian, too. <laughs> Young man, I have noticed your dial situation, and please rest assured that I share your frustration. But uh, how can I put this? Oh, what can I say? Ah, but maybe you understand better this way. Oh dear. Did that music? Yes. Oh, you broke the fourth wall. I'm busy, busy, <laughs> dreadfully busy. <laughs> He looks angry. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Larry looks angry. Oh, I see. As soon as the mayor had finished his song, a Flibian doctor came strolling along. I took my day, she said, starting to slide. Oh, yeah. Your pickle would please step aside. I'm very important. I can't stand a chat. Well, that's not my pickle. I found him like that. Besides, it so happens I'm noteworthy too. Why, I am the mayor of Flibberolu. Um, um, I'm a cucumber. <laughs> said the doctor. Then you'll understand without an appointment I can't lend a hand. The folks with bronchitis, they're kids with a flu, he said to the mayor of Flibberoloo. If I'm not mistaken, you're quite busy too. Well, they talked about stuff. 
schedules, compare daily planners. So finally a voice said, we finally manner. I don't mean to bug ya. I see that you're busy, but being inverted has made me quite dizzy. The two other Flidians paused for a while. They looked at each other, then said with a smile, We're busy, busy, dreadfully busy. He sounds like a girl. Yeah. Oh dear. Wait. Why is she? Has a shoe and I have a pot. But when we look deeper than more that we've got, God made a special and all I can see is a pot. Hey, Mr. How did he get up? I guess the CGI looks kind of a... Looks like the CGI is kind of glitchy, but... Eh. something. the end of level low. Okay. Okay, moving on.